Oh, hello. So, I don't have quite the puffy face today, even though I am super kind of sleepy. But I slept so well last night. <clears throat> now, tomorrow I have my very, very postponed um, birthday celebration. Chubby cheeks. Eh, whatever. But, um, so it's going to be a gathering. No, everything's cool. It's just, it's going to be a gathering in my honor, which I'm kind of uh, uncomfortable with in general. Because I don't like to be the center of attention, but I do want the center of attention to be this last four months. Um, all the progress I've made. All the difficulty I've had to get used to. And in the grand tradition of everything going right at the exact moment you need it to, I have been draining. My sinuses have been feeling dry. And I was, was in abject misery yesterday and today. Because I was, my nose was stuffy, and all the stuff that would indicate that I might be getting sick for the first time in many months, which means it could be more severe. You know, I have a going along period of time without getting sick, it leaves your immune system a bit unprepared. And to rally the troops again, it needs. A minute. The question is how far down am I getting knocked before I'm over this. <clears throat> but today I took a Mucinex. So whatever's going to be happening, it's going to drain out of my head before the party or I will murder it. Anyway, so that's what's happening on that front. Now, today... I have to work out. Haven't done it yet because you get super hot and sweaty when you do your workout. And because I gotta work on my guns, Let's see how the guns are going pretty shabbily. But it's been a. Uh, I haven't worked out my guns since Monday. I call them my guns because. Yeah, the reason I'm working them out with regularity is because. I have to look good in my costume by October, and it's already May. I don't have a lot of time. And in between this and that, I've got a lot of stuff to do for the lower part of my body. Case in point, I'm right now using a resistance band to strengthen my ankle. Because if I do not, I cannot use the prosthetic leg efficiently because this foot needs to be up to the task. And it is not. As you can see, I've got some battle scars here. Not to gross anyone out. But <clears throat> I get this little workout out of the way and then I can get to the point where to the workout that gets me hot and sweaty. Then haircut then shower then like a haircut shower that i'm gonna mess with my hair and style it and stuff probably for the rest of the day <laughs> but um yeah this is preparation for my birthday party tomorrow as i turned 44 months ago and then I had a life-changing accident. No? It's, it's kind of a symbolic thing. This is me let, letting everybody and everything know that I am intent on getting my life back. 
the ankle workout, my one session of physical therapy, physical training I should call it, on the prosthetic leg, and one visit to the clinic where they gave me the prosthetic leg so that they could make it more comfortable, everything's looking up. I've never been more confident that things are going to get better. So that's what I'm doing today. Normal people are at work. Are they? Yeah, it's Friday. And, um, I would like to be at work. But, um, um, my job, basically, right now, is to get better. And I will. Now, some of this video is not completely about my physical, medical problem. Let's go over what's going to be happening at this birthday party. Now, me and Amber have been uh, contemplating for a while that we need a reason to have a 50s party. And for when I say a while, I mean it, it's been mentioned off and on for years now. Well, my 40th birthday was coming up, so I decided unilaterally to make it a 50s theme. It's like I'm turning 40. It's going to be a 50s theme. It doesn't quite match up, but fuck it. It's, uh, it's an excuse, and I like the idea of the theme. Now, the more I got into the theme the more I really started liking uh, mid-century mod minimalism and decorations and design and furniture and all that stuff. And I thought, okay, my mind is right there. I'm, I'm like a method actor when it comes to parties. I get into the mindset um, through music and video and movies and, and whatever I'm watching and doing, it gets me there so that I am passionate about the upcoming to-do and it, it wasn't planned this way but when I announced the party uh, suddenly there was um, I believe it was a Netflix or a Hulu original of uh, Life as Lucille Ball starring Nicole Kidman and I thought oh, perfect timing perfect timing it's like the world is going to be wrapping their mind around this whole 50s era. That's what I thought at the time anyway, right? And at the same time, Steven Spielberg was promoting his movie, the, the big screen version of West Side Story, which I'd seen a couple times on stage. And one time absolutely blew me away. Tony... The actor playing Tony was absolutely marvelous, and this means nothing to you, but I later found out that the actor on stage in this small performance of West Side Story, the actor playing Maria and the actor playing Tony got married not long after that performance, and it just, oh, it, it just made my little nerd heart sing. I was like, that is so beautiful. And cute little story. Um, I was working at the liquor store. A girl, everybody was in a mask, but she and her boyfriend were coming through the line and I recognized her, but I couldn't quite picture where. And the moment she got to the counter, I was like, were you in West Side Story? Uh, and she was like, yeah, it was like five years ago. And I was like, I saw it, <laughs> and I was like, I was there, and I was like, I don't know why I recognized her, but she's the one who told me about what happened with the production members after the production was made, and I was tickled freaking pink over that, and, and I thought that was the most wonderful, and I hope she felt that it was a compliment, that she had a such a notable performance that she was recognized outside of the theater and everything and I uh, it, it was just such a, an all-around wonderful exchange well 
West Side Story by Steven Spielberg is coming out. And I thought those two things, it's a sign, you know, <laughs> not, not that I'm superstitious or anything, but I'm just like, the timing could not be better for this party theme fifties. So I was looking up, going through my Pinterest reels, um, going through some YouTube fifties parties. And when you're going through fifties parties, it's got it. Sometimes they over, you know, skip over, uh, calling it a fifties theme and they say Greece, um, party or um jets versus the sharks type of party or some cultural reference from art forms that take place in that period of time so i went through it all i got i ordered my stuff many months not many months but months before the actual party was supposed to happen on january 9th and <clears throat> Yeah, I have, so I've had my stuff waiting in the wings ever since then, and then January 9th happened. It was not the best day of my life, we'll say. But, through hard work, the days and weeks and months since have gotten better. The future is more... I can see a future and and that's great and here we are four months later the party's actually happening and I'm happy and I'm thrilled that my friends are going to be there a part of me wishes that maybe if this hadn't happened, if I had had my first postpone was from January to February, but um, if I had had it back then and this accident had not happened, I would be putting this party on and I would be able to drink. And a part of me wishes that I was able to uh, sing and dance and laugh and drink and be merry with everyone else but that's not gonna happen and i gotta be okay with that and honestly i don't really want to drink <laughs> i um i've been in the situations where i've been near alcohol and <clears throat> and i i just i just don't feel any drive there's no allure for me anymore it's such a horrible thing. It's like having four months distance from my last drink. I think uh, all it ever did was, yeah, it made me feel good for a while, but then I felt horrible the next day. What kind of an exchange is that? I say that now objectively, but you know, I, I also know that when things get back to normal for someone who's been through some sort of trauma or crisis, the closer to normal things get, the more likely you are to go back to old habits, bad as they may be. So, leading up to all of this, if I see, if I'm in the vicinity of what would have been um, a temptation to drink, I exacerbate the whole experience in my mind. I make it more than it actually is, so that I heighten my defenses. I increase my um, power of resistance so that when I am actually in a situation where I could drink if I wanted to, uh, my guard is up. That's the goal. Even last night, last night, with all of this birthday stuff, um, looming and, and today getting started getting ready I last night my dream was I was at this really nice bar and I could have whatever I want off the shelf no problem and I downed a whole bunch of liquor didn't affect me of course it's a dream and it's like immediately I'm like this is so gross and I put it back down and I'm just like is there anything else going on in this dream? 
really. And, and I have to be prepared that in a moment of weakness, that the merriment of the occasion will sneak a drink or two in, and that drink may encourage me, encourage, it convince me that another drink is not a problem. And then those three drinks combined will convince me that another one is not going to hurt anybody. It's that first drink. With my wits about me and my head on my shoulders, it's that first drink I have to worry about. The ones after that, it's, it's all, the, the fight's already been lost. I just got to worry about that first drink. I don't know how much I have to worry about it. This is the first time I'm going to be in a situation where drinks could happen. Now, my mom said something weird yesterday that she was going to be watch, that my sister was going to be there and she was going to be watching me, making sure I don't drink. I'm like, okay. Why isn't she just there to enjoy herself? I'm, I'm not there to drink. <sighs> She's going to be my chauffeur, but it, it was jokingly that she was going to be babysitting me. It's like, no, no, I can, for, for the most part, I could take care of myself. If this last four months has taught me anything, is that I'm stronger than I thought I was. And let's face it, life isn't boring yet. I only drank because I was bored. There was so much in my life that wasn't happening because of alcohol and because of the resulting boredom, I would drink more alcohol. It was... It was bad. Very bad. And I don't... My life's not boring enough to go back there. Certainly not yet. So I really don't think that they have anything to worry about. But... It's a good... It's a good test. It's a good way to get out there amongst... Um... Temptations. And to really... Stay focused. That... I don't need that, and I'll be okay, and still be around it. <sighs> and and I encouraged people at, during St. Patrick's Day, when they came over, if they wanted something to drink, bring it. I I was going to be on sparkling grape juice, and but if they wanted to drink something, absolutely go for it. It's like the more merriment, the better. I, I'm. I just, I, I don't want people to feel like they have to tiptoe around me or walk on eggshells. And I feel bad when they do. Because I feel like there was joy to be had in the world and they can't have it around me. Because I don't want to drink. Party's happening tomorrow. <sighs> Hope everyone has a good time. Party in my favor. And for me, it's celebrating overcoming everything the last four months have thrown at me. And we're on. We are on beginning the final chapter before things start getting back to normal. I, I start getting on my leg. I start getting independent. I start working out. Or working. <laughs> working out. Um, I start working again. Bringing in some money. Repaying the debts that have accrued in, the, in this meantime. Just getting from here to there. It's going to be a chapter, maybe two more, depending on how things look, but 
the chapter started. Happy as I can possibly be. And in a sense, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for alcohol. The bad parts. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't for not drinking. The good parts. <sighs> but we all know what happens. If you have those five seconds to think about it, you're not going to relapse. You're not going to hurt yourself. You're not going to hurt the people around you. You're not always guaranteed those five seconds to think. <sighs> I'll report what happens later.